Marcus Griffin. He's five and one, six fights total. He's at De La, Ros De La Rosa Submission Academy. I'll tell you this right now, man. That De La Rosa is no joke. They're out of the Rockford, Illinois area. And uh, Demarcus Griffin is a, uh, a standout student over there. Ralph Farrell's and Cripps all got along. They probably got me John, uh, down by I the end of the song. I love watching this weight class. Like um, city me. Every so, in the street, just one of my favorite weight classes to watch. Yeah, we got a uh, purple belt and Demarcus Griffin coming out of that blue corner. We got uh, Jeremy Cuddle walking him out. Jeremy has done a fantastic job with the guys out in Rockford. Really making a splash on the Midwest scene. Probably about this last, about the last year. He's uh, put a lot of miles on his car and they travel heavy. Um, his biggest problem is is that the closest fight he can get is about an hour and away, an hour and a half away from where he lives. So his, his team is constantly on the road. It's like an added dimension of um, just discipline that's ne that's needed. Absolutely. And, uh, and Mike, we're doing five rounds for this one, right? It's the title. No, no, it's so. not the title. The title is the last fight. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, okay. it's a three-round bout between Demarcus Griffin and Jackson, I think. This is a title fight. I apologize. Yes. Yes, it is five rounds. I stand corrected. Thank you, Leo. We got two title fights tonight. This is obviously one of them. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us from Alito Lake, Minnesota, and represents St. Charles MMA. Tonight, he brings to the cage a record of five wins and one loss. He comes to the cage at six feet, four inches tall, in a weight of 185 pounds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Jackson the Moose. McVeigh. So, Leo, this Jackson McVeigh is five and one. Moved from Minnesota down to St. Louis. Trains full time with Mike Rogers, who's a Rodrigo, a Rodrigo, Vagi black belt. Um, when it comes to like discipline and making sacrifices, this kid has done it all, man. And he's a blue chipper. I've heard lots and lots of good things about this guy. Um, pleasure to deal with, on weight, personable, and uh, he's coming in here ready to fight for a title. So that Rodrigo Vagi school is just a very, very, Studs. very good jiu-jitsu school that's very deep. It's been around since the beginning. The beginning. Like, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I remember being on cards with guys from that school. So, I mean, they, their jiu-jitsu is on point. So um, when, when black belts were moving here from Brazil, going to the left and right coast, and even Florida, where Rob Khan kind of landed, Rodrigo Vagi moved to St. Louis yeah. and formed an army. <laughs> he certainly did. Yes. Put out guys that even went to UFC, like Steve Berger, like you know, man, dude, yeah, love Japan, Steve Berger. I mean, like, Mike Rogers Mike is Rogers, a. Uh, yeah. not, I mean, I'm, I hope he's watching. I used to watch him fight the Randy Greenman show, a promoter from uh, you know Southern Illinois that had a crazy demise, you know, footnote in MMA history. Yeah. But Mike Rogers, um, certainly somebody I've admired for a very, very long time. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I, I do a podcast called the Lights Out Podcast, and we had Steve Berger on, and the emotions that Steve had when talking about his childhood relationship with Mike Rogers was incredibly moving. I I remember like first time I, I saw Steve Berger, red nose uh, pitbull baby. I fought him on I, I fought on the same card as him. All right, we're gonna Tony. we're gonna get this uh, next bout going. Once again, your fighters for your co-main event, the Blue Corner. Represent De La Rosa with a record of five wins and one loss, Demarcus Griffin! And his opponent from St. Charles MMA with the same record of five wins and one loss, Jackson the Moose McVeigh! This is a title bout. It is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Your referee, Mr. Rob Madrigal. So uh, Jackson McVeigh is 22 years old with 10 years of jiu-jitsu experience, making the move down to the St. Louis area to train full-time with Mike Rogers against a very tough and stout Demarcus Griffin. And these two waste no time. Jackson not wasting any time tying him up. 
Oh, this is going through that cold subtle. Well, De La Rosa, we've seen their stand-up, but we haven't seen much of their ground, and that includes myself. I've seen you know, De La Rosa fight in uh, you know, a few different cities, and most of the time these guys fight the takedown in order to, to keep it on their feet. Yeah, he's uh, got his work cut out for him right now. I mean, yeah. uh, Jackson's put a lot of pressure on him, and he's got the hips locked up. Both these guys are very tall and long yeah, for their weight class. Yeah, there's a lot of length in here. Yeah, yeah usually you don't five. see two people with the same type of length yeah. and size in the same bout. Usually it's a little lopsided until you get to the uh, higher levels of mixed martial arts. Go, Peppering punches by uh, Demarcus Griffin to the face of Jackson McVeigh. I'm waiting to see Jackson try to hook that leg on the outside to try to take down Demarcus, see if Demarcus can keep his... Hips back. I, I think uh, Jackson is still there's a still feeling out process in regards to strength. And uh, if I'm to Marcus Griffin, I'm relaxing a little bit, which he seems to be doing. Peppering shots by Demarcus Griffin, not really doing much to the face of Jackson McVeigh, but active nonetheless. Demarcus really needs to take control of uh, of Jackson's right wrist and get that off. So that he's only really having one arm to. To Jack control him with. Jackson McVeigh in the black and gray checkered shorts and Demarcus Griffin in a straight black with white trim, white lettering for Demarcus Griffin. The only problem with being that tall is you got to drop your weight, your center of gravity a lot to get underneath that guy. You know, yeah. so. and you know Jackson McVeigh is smothering right now. Yeah. I don't know if he saw something in a video that um, was kind of telling him to take this, uh, take this approach. Yeah. But I, I've heard really good things about his jiu-jitsu. I mean, being that he's got 10 years experience at 22 years of age, you have to assume that's probably where, you know, he's, he's most comfortable. Jackson McVeigh continuing to apply pressure, and there we go. Down to the ground we go with McVeigh on top, Demarcus Griffin. I'd be a little frustrated if I'm Demarcus Griffin right now, not trying to... Uh, and figure the strength and positioning out. Mark is doing the right McVay. thing, though. He's scooting back and sees, like, he's getting his back on the cage. He's opening the guard. He's using the cage to get up. He's doing all the right stuff. And there he goes. This is a great job by DeMarcus getting back up. Yeah, Jackson McVay. And Jackson going to kind of... He's continuing to apply pressure yeah. against DeMarcus Griffin. DeMarcus Griffin quick to his feet after an early takedown from Jackson McVay. St. Louis, um, another hotbed of mixed martial arts. Oh, oh wow, and there is the reversal. The takedown, it was a little bit high in their face, Tagari. Heavy and punches by Demarcus Griffin, Marcus Jackson McVay. Demarcus not wasting any time there going away. Demarcus not wasting any time going away. I think that was the end of the round. Run by the belter. Man, I tell you, McVay, although he won the positioning, he lost the uh, striking battle with the last 10 seconds. He did. He, he may have lost the last round just based on the last 10 seconds. Yeah, I think that uh, those last 10 seconds swayed it. And you saw the confidence. Demarcus Griffin sitting on his chair. Yeah. He, he looked mean across the ring. Yeah. I don't know how to describe that look other than mean. Yes. That was uh, finishing punches. Look bad intention. It's the replay from that takedown. Yeah, both fighters ready to start. We got one more bout after this. See if Jackson follows the same plan and what DeMarc is gonna do to slow it up. Front kick by Jackson McVeigh, countered by yeah. flurry of punches by DeMarcus Griffin. And we're back pressuring on the cage again. Yeah. Jackson McVeigh is just kind of nickel and diming out of time. He likes that. Nice little takedown by McVeigh. Back, back, back sacrifice. So this time he's landing in a, in a side control position. He's got to stop from getting caught in the guard. DeMarc is doing a good job of scrambling back to put him in the, in the guard position. I think McVeigh is going to be, have to be a little more intelligent in regards to positioning. He can't be yeah. giving up. Uh, no, he's got to pull him back off the cage. Otherwise, uh, DeMarc is going to follow the same plan. He's got a good plan there to get, get back up. And Jackson's got to figure that out. He's got to pull him back. Otherwise, he's not going to have success with that. Yeah, this is a really tough fight, you know, for both of these guys it to is. take. And now, uh, ooh, oh, he's secured ahead and arm. Let's see. This is a tough angle to get. He's got it, but this is a tough angle to finish. Well, you got a guy with 10 years of jiu-jitsu trapping. Oh, no, yeah, I thought he trapped the left arm of Demarcus Griffin. Yeah. 
Here's the thing about this position, why this, and, and he could finish from this. But here's the thing, the crook of Jackson's elbow ends up, the opening of his elbow ends up on the carotid artery of the guy, of, of DeMarcus. So he's still getting blood to his head from that angle. I, I think Jackson McVay, um, a little tired. Yeah. After that submission. It takes a lot to, to get the guy off the cage like that. A lot of people underestimate like how much energy that takes. Yeah, you got um, Jackson McVay. I, I think he may have been a cardio wall. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. As, as I say that, as I triangle. say that, we got triangle. Texas That's pretty triangle. tight. The Marks needs to stand up if he's going to get out of this and slam him or something. He's about to finish him. Oh, my gosh. That out. is deep. Is he out? He's oh, out. my gosh. DeMarcus Griffin rode out on his shield. And Jackson McVay almost, I'm not going to say it's a come from behind, but that is a hard-fought victory. And DeMarcus Griffin, not tapping, speaks volumes of the type of fighter he is. Beautiful I, triangle I, there. I, I am shocked at the heart of DeMarcus Griffin. Yeah. What a warrior. DeMarcus Griffin right there, he's got no shame. He's got Lawrence Pulse. No, no, no. Holy cow, DeMarcus Griffin. You know, sometimes in a loss, you learn a lot about somebody. Yeah. I think a little maturity, a little positioning, and DeMarcus Griffin can be a, like one of those blue chip athletes everybody's talking about. No, absolutely, and he needed he needed to just posture up a little bit on that. Beautiful triangle from Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at 1 minute 56 seconds of the second round due to a technical submission, a rear naked choke, your red corner, Jackson the Moose McVay, your new 